This is the video on pain receptors. Pain receptors are found throughout the body, both on the surface and internally. Any sensory input can become painful if it is too intense. For example, heat, cold, noise, light, pressure, and such. The pain receptors are triggered when a stimulus becomes more intense than normal. The two fiber types for pain reception are the A-delta fiber and the C-fiber. The A-delta fiber has a thick axon that is myelinated, so according to cable theory, the axon's transmission is fast. The pain that is felt with the A-delta fiber tends to be sharp, stabbing, and readily localized. The C-fiber is a thin, unmyelinated fiber that is therefore slower in conduction. The pain felt by this receptor is dull, achy, and not easily pinpointed. This is the mechanism when someone says that their arm hurts, but they cannot point to a specific area for the pain. It is more like the whole area hurts with a deep ache. Pain has a psychological component to it. When a person is frightened by the injury, the pain is worse. Some people will work through the pain, ignoring it to get something important done. Soldiers will rescue a buddy and carry them long distance to safety before realizing that they themselves have a significant injury. Part of this pain variation can be attributed to the endorphin system in the CNS, but not all of it. There is a descending system from the brain to the pain input centers in the spinal cord that modulate the intensity of the pain. This system starts with the anterior cingulate cortex in the insula. This area sends modulatory signals to the amygdala, hypothalamus, and the periaqueductal gray matter of the midbrain. This will dampen the fear factor from the amygdala, release hormone factors for body homeostasis from the hypothalamus, and quiet some of the pain by stimulating the periaqueductal area. The periaqueductal gray matter, or PAG, of the midbrain is the main pain modulator of the central nervous system. The PAG activates the centers that release an encephalin-like chemical. It sends signals to the parabrachial nucleus of the pons, the medullary reticular formation, the locus coryleus, and the raphe nuclei in the brainstem. These four centers send their signals to the dorsal horn of the spinal cord, most into lamina 2, the area where painful stimuli enter the spinal cord. At the dorsal horn, the descending pathway will release encephalin and dynorphin directly onto the synapsing afferent fibers for pain. The endogenous opioid transmitters bind to the mu and kappa receptors on the incoming C and A delta fibers. This prevents the release of substance P and thus inhibits the secondary neuron from sending a signal to the VPL of the thalamus. This will dampen the signal being sent up to the brain through the anterior lateral pathway. Another method of pain control is the gate theory of pain. This is more fully discussed in a separate video, but it too can modulate the sensation of pain felt through the modulation of the pain receptors at the level of the spinal cord. This ends the video on the pain receptors.